Alright guys, it's Grant here, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play series of Farming Simulator on the Spring Hill map. Alright, so last time, um, Sugar Beet went on um, a demand, so I sold all that off screen, and I've tidied everything up. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think there was anything else that's happened. Could be wrong, but... I don't recall doing anything else. Um, yeah, so don't think so. Fed, I think I fed the cows a few more times, but that's about it. Been a wee while since I've recorded this, so that's that's why. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This cedar, I was finding, it's a bit small for me, personally. It's a bit heavy for the tractors as well. So what I thought we could do was sell it and buy, um, and buy this one here. Now it's slightly bigger than that other one. It's got wheels so the smallest tractor can put the Ford 3000. So I think we'll do that. The reason I had it here was because you can sell it for more here. That'll show you it sells for 6,900 there, but if we go back here, it only sells for 5,700. So you get a lot more for selling it there. And then we'll buy this other one. That's it there. It looks pretty cool as well. So just go pick it up just now. Um, see, it's an older one, but it's got some nice features. See the wheels turn, never. It's got a little chain on the back that moves. What else did I have? Uh, the cedar, the discs go up and down, and they also turn. Now you can see the hydraulic there working, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to take this back to the farm. I think we can put this in the small, um, on the small tractor on the three, four to three thousand. You can see all the shafts working there, the, their drive shafts or something like that, I'm not sure, but you can see them working. So that that's what, it's got no PTO around it, uh, it runs off the wheels, which is pretty cool. So I think this episode we'll do some, we'll plant some seeds and also fertilise the fields as well, because we've got our Marshall dung spreader. So we're using that. Um, there we go. She's a nice. It's a nice wood for the this farm. <coughs> um, see, it's nice. It just fits down here, which is good. Oh, that's the only thing. Looking behind, and then if you were slightly off, it can be a bit, a bit annoying. So uh, it's not too bad. I'm just going to fill with seed just in case the driver misses any um, bits, and I have to do it by hand. Stick it in here. You see the wheels are turned around, which is pretty cool. Also, drop it there because we're going to be putting the small tractor on that. As you can also see, we're quite a lot of money now because of selling all of the um, 
over the sugar beet. It was up quite a bit, the sugar beet, so I just thought I'd sell it off. So as we can see, I think this is the case, the wheels are facing forward, but when you go forward they turn around, so I reverse again. Okay, so the game just crashed on me, but um, I've got back to where we left off, kind of, so we're just going to take this up into this field, I think we're just starting this field here, uh, we'll be doing barley in this field. See, it looks quite nice this on this uh, tractor. I'm gonna be able to get through it though. Yeah, it's not it's not too narrow, but it's a lot narrower. No way, anyway, it's not too big even I should say, but it can get a bit tight, so I just gotta watch that. Um, I'll stick a link in the description to this, just like normal. Um. So yeah, we're just going to start this guy off up here. Just back up. So I really like this cedar. Um, it's really nice. It's not too big, but it's just right for this. It does have an effect on the speed, but it's all it's quite big for the tractor to pull. If you know what I mean. bigger than the cedar we had, so. Alright, so let's ju jump into this. Now, we should have some manure to start spreading on the field. Yep, we do. So we're going to pick up our fertilizer. Our what? Our muck spreader is what I should have said. So, just drop down the hedge. There you go. See, I love that feature. Just, I'll just demonstrate here. That, say, say we're to pick up now, it'd be like, lift right up. But, when you do it like that, it rises up slowly, which is cool. Um, right. Where will we put this to fill it up? Just stick it in here, I guess. Yeah, that'll do, I guess. So I'll, I'll go fertilize the small field first. Um, I want to open this, so it's X to open it. I'll need to touch PTO as well. There we go. Just jump in this. Just check this guy first. Yeah, he's doing fine. But well, it is going to miss a bit here, but I can come back and fix that at the end. Now I reckon we'll just go through the shed here because I reckon that'll have blocked the exit. Just stab the cow. Just get that one as well and get that one. <laughs> right, um This is a very handy vehicle for doing this. It's nice and maneuverable. I'm back. It's not too tight this bit. I suppose because these are quite small machines but it's not too tight the yard. So which is good. I do like driving this. I will, I'll probably end up installing that mod that stops it steering back itself. That's it full. Yep, 
Yep, I just smashed straight into that. Just leave it there. Jump in this, close the door. And there we go. Right, we'll go do the small field first. It's a nice size for this tractor. Yeah, I do like this. This was made with the help of uh, NI modding. Um, I can't remember which, which people did it, but it was uh, NI modding that um, helped them with some things. Or at least I'm sure that's what it said in FFUK. I could be wrong, but I'm sure that's what it said. I think I'm just going to start right in the middle of the field here. Because I'm not too sure in the range of this. So open that door. Stick it in second and go. So that's a, a nice dirty job. But it does look cool. I mean, these little things spinning, flinging it out, it's just it's so well done. Right, um, this will probably use quite a bit. Yeah, we kind of went through the hedge. Not to worry. So what we can do now. Because we've done it down here, we can reverse onto this. Just take it back in cruise control 2, turn it on, and follow this line. So that we know um, where it's going to go. Even though I managed to miss a bit, but not to worry. It's going to take quite a few loads to this field, so I'll probably do this field on screen and then probably do the other one off screen. And then maybe we have time to fit something else in as well, I'm not sure. Just empty the last little bit there, close the door, and head back to the farm. This, I think this muck spreader goes really well with this tractor. But it's not a massive muck spreader, so you don't need a massive tractor. Alright. Just take it back up here. Will we get away with going this way? Should do. Just swing it around here. Yeah, that should be fine. Jump wall like that because we're a badass. Uh, fling that down and pick up some more shit. I like how you don't have to close the the grab for it to work. It does look cool closed, but it's easier. Just leave it open. You probably do that in real life. Probably just if you're going over some bumpy ground just to. Hold it in a bit more. Oh, I've got to turn the beacon on. Oh, that could have been uh, dangerous if someone had come through here and hadn't seen us. <laughs> right. I can't remember how much it holds this. I think it's like 8,000 or something. Alright, that's it full. 
I'll just check right now how much it holds. Five thousand seven hundred. It's not too bad, I guess. I'll just come down here just now. Um, right, and then now we're away again. Um. I guess we could probably get a more um, next for doing uh, the grass. Might be an idea. Yeah, I reckon we can do that. So I'll f empty this again. And then I'll do the rest off screen and then we'll get a mower and we'll do some grass cutting. We'll need to get a tether in as well but we'll just stick with the mower for just now. Well for this episode anyway. Oh man, I love this this combination so much. It works so well together. Right, that's just nearly empty this. I'll stick the last little bit into here. The last time. Right, so I'll be back in a minute once I've finished this field. And then we'll get more, so I'll see you in a minute, guys. Alright, so that's us just finished uh, spreading the field, so we're all out of uh, shit. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna buy a more now. I'm going to drop that there. Alright. Uh, so our tractor is 61 horsepower. So... Oh, even the smallest more uh, requires 70. Um, okay. I would say probably get this one because these two are both require 70 but this one costs more it is slightly bigger but um, yeah I reckon the tractor will handle this one better so we'll just get them to, to, to deliver it for us there we go now we just go pick it up um, well, attach it to drop the back arms. There we go. Oh, that's kind of big. And attach the PTO. Yeah. Well, we should handle it. It shouldn't be too hard to take, I guess. Actually, not we'll do. We'll stick some weight on the front in the wheels. There. So now we've got 300 kilogram weights on the front. As long as I guess, as long as we don't pout up here and just fly uh, over this, it'll be fine.
then try not to give it too much power but not too little because we don't give it enough then we're not going to make it up here <coughs> <coughs> all right so that's it folding out um right we'll lower it and turn it on There you go. Alright, that's it cutting. Look at that. Oh, missed a bit. Looks so nice. I think I'll put it in rows for us. I think, I'm not entirely sure. Oops. It doesn't matter anyway, because we're going to be uh, making it into hay. So um, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's you if it's um, in rows or not. Because we've got that windrower anyway, so we'll be using that. We will end up upgrading to the, the big uh, mower that has the wheels because it's it's a lot easier to use I guess it's bigger as well so we will upgrade but I just thought we'd get this one because the tractor should be able to handle it I can feel it pulling the tractor in to the right so that's the only thing I would say it's wrong but you know it's not too bad so yeah it's putting in rows not the biggest rows you know not the widest gap but we're going to be tedding it anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we're going to need to get. Not really, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else we need at the moment. Um, we've got. I think we've got everyone we need. Um, yeah. I suppose... See, I'm trying to think what else we need to get, but I can't really think of anything we're going to need. At the moment. Um, no, I can't think of anything. I suppose we'll need to upgrade our tractor soon probably end up selling our 3,000 and get a 5,000, that might be an idea. Um, yeah, apart from that I don't know what else there is actually we need to upgrade. I suppose this is a good time to say thanks to everyone who subscribed. Um, it's at 153,000, no 100,000, no, 153 subs. Um, when I record, I don't know if it will go up by the time this is up, but yeah, thanks for all. It's um, it's amazing. I never thought I get, we'd get uh, this big this soon. I thought it'd take us a lot longer, but we're going well. So um, yeah, I'll re I'll finish this off screen because it's going to take quite a while to get everyone done. So uh, yeah, finish that off screen. I'll get everyone. I'll get. I'll feed the cows another couple of times. Uh, I'll spread the field with some more shit when we get some more. Um, and I guess that's all we can really do till then. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.